So the official teaser for Five Nights at Freddy's has officially dropped on YouTube and the hype is real, ladies and gentlemen. The hype is definitely real. Um, while watching it, because, you know, you watch the, tra uh, the trailer for the first time and you don't notice a lot of things, but um, I kept watching it over and over again and there were actually a few things I, I realized throughout the times I've been watching it um, that this movie may be more in depth if that makes sense as to just the basics that we know you know that William Afton is a purple guy that Mike is the security guard this and that you know kids were stuffed in the animatronic suits um, yeah there might be something even deeper going on in the movie uh, Again, I'm going to explain to you what they are. And I want to start off with this picture right here. So, I got this screenshot from the trailer, obviously. Um, the leaks from the onset. Um, what's got a lot of people questioning is, why the white gloves? And we all know Scott doesn't do anything, um, you know, just random. You know, it's not just crazy random shenanigans um no what what i'm gonna say in this video is just speculation um i could be very wrong um again i'm this is these are my ideas uh nothing's nothing of this is official um but you know if you guys want to find out then like what I have to say then I mean you guys are here um, but I have a feeling that the white gloves have a symbolic meaning to the actual restaurant um, if you guys remember in the games uh, Fred Bear's family diner was the first official pizzeria that opened um, and that's when the I believe the bite of 83 happened the bite of 83 where golden bread bear um bit the child the crying child in the fnaf 4 uh game obviously what if these gloves are like a symbolic meaning oh you know we're we're, we're opening a new pizzeria um a new fazbear pizzeria and these gloves are like a symbolic meaning saying we're opening with our hands clean like clean hands new clean slate right um because none throughout any of the games not once did Fred, freddy have actual gloves on his hands um so i don't know maybe maybe it's just some it means that you know it's symbolic for you know we're starting we want a fresh new start and our hands are clean, which obviously they aren't, because it's where when it's where William kills the kids and stuffs them in the suits. Um, now I want to move on to a second, I guess, theory, um, which is here. This picture from the trailer. I took the screenshot, of, of course. Um, there's five kids. Um, people, you guys probably seen, you know, Matt Pat or I don't know any other YouTube channel who's reacted to the trailer. Um, say this pretty frequently, but if you guys look closely, on the very right hand side, there's a girl in like a chicken suit or something. She's wearing yellow. She's got feathers on her arms. Um, then the one on the very left is, um wearing uh like bunny ears and then the one behind mike or josh hutchison um is wearing like a top hat and the one next to that one is orange brown i guess and then yeah and then the brown one these could be the five animatronics that are in the movie you know chica bonnie freddy foxy and the fifth one could be golden freddy um now it could either be golden freddy or the puppet 
right? I know it's a long shot, but hear me out. When before the movie had an, an official teaser, teaser um, we were already shown with the Springtrap suit, right? And Springtrap doesn't show up till the third game. So maybe, who knows, maybe they actually have the puppet available in the first this first establishment. And I don't know. I don't know. For all I know, it could probably be Golden Fredbear or <laughs> Golden Freddy, whatever you guys want to call him. But yeah, there's that. Um, but not only that, um, this scene in particular, out of the whole trailer, if you guys notice, it's... It takes place outside in the daytime. Uh, maybe you guys didn't really care too much or, you know, think it was too important. But um, I personally think, as you guys are seeing from this second image here, uh, you see Mike on the ground looking up towards something. And if you guys notice, no animatronic, or if you guys remember, no animatronic actually flies up. You know, no animatronic can actually fly, soar, nothing, glide, nothing. Um, what if this whole scene, what if there's a sequence in the movie where it's actually psychological? And I'm going to show you a, a clip of the movie Slenderman right here, or a picture, a screenshot. Um, if you guys have seen the Slenderman movie, you guys will realize that there were some things that actually happened in the movie and some things that that happened in someone's mind, if that makes sense, which was psychological. What if the Five Nights at Freddy's movie has a sequence where it's pure psychology? That makes sense. Um, just maybe. I, I'm. I'm not saying it is. I'm not saying it isn't. But there's a good chance. And this scene right here from the movie Slenderman, you guys remember? Honestly, I could be wrong here. I haven't seen the movie in years, but it was in someone's mind. And this was proof, you know. From the trailer and the Slender Man trailer, um, you know, a girl was in like a hospital because she had some mental issues, not mental issues, sorry about that, um, but she had um, like trauma or psychological problems, so to speak. Um, Maybe, just maybe, the Five Nights at Freddy's movie is darker than we thought it was, or we're expecting it to be. Um, I don't know. It's, it, it's, it's pretty insane to think about. But not only is it, not, on, not only could it be just horror genre, but it could be psychological as well um what it is i have no idea but yeah pretty much th this movie has a lot of potential um to be probably the best horror movie of this year because you know we've had um, the Pope's Exorcist, um, um, which I don't think did very good in the box office, to be honest. Uh, we had Evil Dead Rise, which, again, I don't think it did too well, even though it got good rating. Um, but Five Nights at Freddy's has a massive fan base, an awesome creator. And amazing, amazing supporters, you know. Um, the trailer did not let us down whatsoever. Uh, again, just a teaser, you know, just a few clips here and there. 
but um, I just felt like I had to, you know, say something. It could be said that, like I told, like I said, he told you guys, um, it's not official. It's what I think, what I received from the tra- or the teaser. But yeah. So hopefully. Who knows, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. So hopefully, you know, this isn't necessarily a... I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's not a spoiler. But I am hoping it's really in-depth, really deeper than what we think it is as a movie. So, uh, yeah. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, you think... You think I'm... I, You think I'm in the ballpark? You think I'm... I striked out? I don't know. Let me know. Uh, But yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed.